What's up, guys? So, um, last night I started experiencing this problem with Madden 20 on the PS4, uh, although I do believe this persists on the Xbox One as well. Uh, I believe it's just a glitch in the game code. But every once in a while, you are going to have a time when you try to upgrade your players, and then when you do that, your system's going to crash. Now, I figured out a way to uh, fix this problem, and so I would like to show you that now. Okay, so I've reloaded my game, and now what you want to do is you want to go into your team and then go to the roster. This is going to be a very tedious process, but it will work. So you want to go position by position and only look at players that are generated by the CPU in draft classes. So if you've got a guy like Marlon Mack, um, he is not going to be um, affected by this glitch. But players that are generated um, like Jack Sorensen, um, this, this guy is actually the guy that um, is affected for me. Um, but if you, if you go through your positions and only go through the computer generated or the, uh, the draft generated players, I guess I should say, and you click on them, you'll go in and it'll update your player or bring to the, bring him to his menu. Um, so let's see, let's see if Paris Campbell has, yeah, so it'll either come to this menu or to the upgrade menu. But once you find your glitched player, so in my case, Jack Sorensen, the game will crash like this. Now, if your player is trash like Jack Sorensen, this isn't going to be a big deal. But if they're really good, like a Chris Olave or a Jake Fromm on my team in particular, you know, that sucks. And I always am talking trash about Madden not being realistic and, and such, but, you know, this is, as unintended as it is, this is a pretty realistic feature because some players glitch in real life, like Antonio Brown, and go off the deep end. Just treat that player on your game like an Antonio Brown situation and get them off your team as quickly as possible for whatever you can get for them. Once you have found your glitched player, what you're going to want to do is it first of all you need to see if you're over the salary cap or not because that's going to be a big problem if you're if you are over the salary cap like I am here so you want to go to improve team trade center and then see if you're over the cap like I am right there it's going to be very difficult for you to make this happen even if um even if you create a new owner which is what I would do uh, and offer a pick or something, or another player for for your glitched player. Basically, you just want to get that guy off your roster um, at all costs. Now, the problem with that, though, is um, you cannot just go and release the guy, because, of course, you can't just click release player. It has to bring up his menu, and when it brings up his menu, it brings up upgrades first, and then the upgrades are what's glitched. So... Uh, in my case, I'm in the preseason, so I have to advance the week. I have to force the advance until cut day, and that's the only way you can get rid of the guy. It's super annoying, and it's really dumb that this is what you have to do um, if you're over the salary cap. But if you're not over the salary cap, um, the other... Uh, the other method is a lot easier, and I will show that to you in a second. So basically, you just want to keep advancing um, until you get to cut day. And remember, when you go to upgrade players, this shit crashes. But you can either go to your cut players, find your glitched player... Now you want to cut his ass immediately. So he's gone. Now, when you go into your upgrade players, it no longer crashes. Now, if you are under the salary cap, which I actually just made a trade. I traded away T.Y. Hilton to the Giants for a draft pick uh, in a separate file so that I can 
uh, wiggle under the cap here. But once you are under the cap, or if you are under the cap, you need to go to Options, User Management, User Teams, and you want to create a new character. Now, I already have a, a character as Mark Davis, so I could move the Raiders to Las Vegas. Because I thought Madden did that, but it doesn't. Anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Just It doesn't really matter what team, but you're going to overwrite their owner slash coach. Um, and so I'm going to be Freddie Kitchen, or I'm going to be the Browns, um, and then create an owner, financial mogul. It literally does not matter. You're going to be here for... 30 seconds on this other team, but you are going to overwrite their coach if you don't choose owner. Um, and so you want to go to improve team, trade center, manual trade, and then you want to select your team, so in my case the Colts, and you want to find your glitched player, so it's going to be Jack Sorensen, and then you want to offer something that the, or you, you could actually literally offer anything because if they're both user teams. So this dude's probably going to get cut by the Browns. So I'm going to pick Daryl Isaac. Actually, no, he's a rookie. I'm going to take this guy, Matt Allen. Submit the trade. Since they're both user teams, um, as long as both salary caps are fine, the trade will always accept. Now, once you are uh, done with that and you get that guy off your team, go back, options, user management, and retire. It's going to give you a snarky comment about not being able to buy championships, retire from the league, and then you go back to your team, and when you go back to upgrade players, you can now do it.